Welcome to the Ask Patrick series. Today's question is by Mahesh Narote. The question is, in the non-CAT exams for the RCs, is it advisable to go to the question first and then the passage? Um, it depends. Okay. Now there are some exams where the passes are really long and there are very few questions. Like in some of the IFT past papers, if you look at the ZAD papers, some of them, the actual passage is really wrong and number of questions are few. So by the time you read the whole passage and try to understand, you already waste a lot of time, you may actually end up going wrong. So in those cases, when the passages are long and few questions, it may make sense to read the question first and then go to the passage. It's more of a direct, you know, searching for the questions from the, uh, or searching the passage for the question directly. I mean, possible. It depends on which exam. Not all examination goes that way. But yes, in those examinations where the passages are long and the number of questions are less, it makes sense to go in a reverse manner. Okay. As I said, in the past, there have been cases in the IFT exam, ZAT exam, where this has been the case. Not every college. Also in the CAT, normally I do prefer reading the passage and then the questions because the questions are more of indirect nature. Because there you need to understand the central idea to answer the question. Unlike that, in a non-CAT exam, the questions are normally direct nature. Normally. So in that case, it is possible that you can read the questions first and then do the passage. But my suggestion would be to experiment both. Look at solving the questions first, reading the question first and then the passage. Some reading the passage and then the questions. Also look at how does it make a difference when a passage is long or when a passage is short. Maybe when a passage is short, you can read the passage and then go to questions. So try different means. Only if you try it out, would you know what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And that's the reason you write mocks to experiment to find out what is actual pattern and what actually works for you. So experiment is a key to know and to learn and to find out what actually helps you to score more. Hope that helps. Thank you.